G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. A few months ago I made French macaroons. Now I wasn't overly happy with how they turned out at the end, but I've learned quite a lot since then, so join me as I show you the proper way <laughs> to make French macaroons. Okay, so to start off with I've got a bowl with a sieve on top. Now into that I'm going to place in our almond meal and our confectionery sugar and we're just going to sieve this through completely just to get all the lumps out okay so once done you're going to have some larger pieces of almond meal left over um, don't use these just throw them away because we don't need larger bits in there then just give it a quick mix around just so the sugar and the almond meal is combined next into a mixer bowl I'm going to place in three egg whites that I've allowed to adjust to room temperature now you can do this with a hand mixer as well, but I'm going to use this stand mixer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to beat these until they start to fluff up. Okay, once it starts to fluff up like this, we're going to add in five tablespoons of caster sugar or super fine sugar. So we're going to do it one at a time. So we're going to let the first one completely incorporate and then we're going to add the next one. And just so forth to you do all five spoons. I'm just going to continue to beat this now until it comes up nice and glossy and soft peaks start to form. Okay, now that we've done our meringue, it's nice and glossy and thick. Now to that we're going to add in about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we're just going to fold that through. Next we're going to grab in half our sugar and almond meal and we're going to just pour that straight in. Then we're going to fold that completely through. Okay, once it's been folded through, we're going to add the rest of the mix. Then once again, just completely fold that through. Now just for a bit of extra colour while I'm folding through the last batch, I'm just going to add a couple of drops of red food colouring. Well, a couple more drops there by mistake, but <laughs> close enough. And we're just going to fold that through. Okay, so once done, should look something like this, where it's completely combined. Now onto a baking tray lined with parchment baking paper. Use, preferably using a piping bag, we're going to pipe, evenly pipe our macaroons right onto the baking paper. Okay, once you're all on the tray, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the tray and bang it down a few times very hard. This will help get all, a lot of excess air out of the macaroons and flatten them out a bit too. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to let these sit here for about 20 minutes and now in that 20 minutes you should get a, a slight hard shell forming on the outside so that when you touch it, it won't stick to your fingers. Okay, so once you're ready, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. About halfway through, we're gonna switch, turn the whole tray around, just so they cook evenly. Okay, so I've taken these out of the oven and I've let them cool for about a good half an hour. And look at that. Look pretty fantastic. Put together, looks just like a macaroon. So these are gonna be nice and crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle. So now one final step. Just grab, say, two of the equal size. And what I'm gonna do now is I've just got some Chocolate, white chocolate here that I've just melted into the microwave. And we're just going to grab that, just put some right in the center. And we'll get the other, other one, squish it. And we'll put that aside and let it cool and just continue on until they're all done. Okay, so I'm just taking this out of the fridge to let the chocolate set completely and I'll tell you what, they turned out pretty much perfect much better than the first attempt. So I'm very, very happy with these. Very happy. Now I just want to give one of these a try to see how that turned out. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice and crispy on the outside. And chewy in the middle. That turned out fantastic. That simply is delish. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. 
a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus page. Please show me the love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.